Hello and welcome to showmeacademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you a number of different options that you have for managing the worksheets that come in Microsoft Excel 2007. Every time you open a new spreadsheet, by default, out of the box, it starts with three new worksheets sitting at the bottom of the screen. Sheet 1, Sheet 2, and Sheet 3. Now you can work for a long time in the program and never even get past sheet one because there's a massive amount of data that you can place in any one given worksheet. But as you start to build more complex spreadsheets, it starts to become much easier to manage your data if you are properly tab tabbing it or putting it into proper worksheets that are annotated at the bottom of the screen. So let's walk you through some of the options that you have for managing this data. First of all, to make things, since this comes up at the bottom of the screen and we're going to be dealing with a lot of context menus, I'm going to make this a little bit easier for us to see by squeezing my screen up like this. Now, that doesn't leave me a lot of room to work up here, but we're not really going to be working in these cells much here for this tutorial, so it shouldn't matter. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this new sheet, Sheet 1, and I'm going to right-click here. Notice that right-clicking here brings up a context menu that gives us a number of different options for managing these worksheets. And I'm going to go ahead and work down the list, and the first one I'm going to choose will be Insert. Now, when I do that, notice it comes up with an Insert window. I actually have an option to insert uh, several different types of objects, but by default, the worksheet is chosen, and that's indeed what we're going to select. So the worksheet is already selected and I'm going to go ahead and click the OK button. And now, remember originally we had Sheet 1, Sheet 2, and Sheet 3. By default, it's created a new sheet called Sheet 4, and it sticks it right there at the front uh, in front of all the other worksheets. Now, maybe that was a mistake, so I can right-click on this again. Of course, I get the same context menu. And now, instead of choosing Insert, I'm going to choose Delete. As you might imagine, that effectively deletes that worksheet entirely out of our workbook. So we're right back to the beginning where we had Sheet 1, Sheet 2, and Sheet 3. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on Sheet 1, right-click, excuse me, and we're going to choose the third option, which is Rename. Notice when I do that, the text that makes up the name for this worksheet, it becomes highlighted in black which basically means that this is editable now and we can type something new. So I'm going to put a new name here. I'm going to call this new sheet name. Now I don't have to, I can do it with different items like that. I can put spaces in, I can put different characters, but I just felt like for the sake of being concise, I was going to name it like this with no spaces. So now we have new sheet name, sheet two, and sheet three. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this one again and this time we're going to choose move or copy. When I do this, notice first of all I'm going to I'm going to concentrate on the move option. It's going to give me all the other sheet all the existing sheets that are here and it's going to say which one of these sheets do you want this sheet to sit in front of or before? Do I want it to sit before a new sheet which is a bit uh, uh, circular, uh, do I want it to sit before sheet 2 or sheet 3, or do I just want to move it to the very end? Let's just move it to the very end for now. So I'll click that, and I'll click OK. And now, notice it's last in my order, whereas previously it was the first one in the order. Now it is the last one. Now let's go back here. I'm going to click on this, right-click on this again. And this time I'm also, I'm again going to choose move or copy, but this time I'm going to create a copy of this. And I'm going to say, okay. And now notice we have our original back here, which was new sheet name. And then there's new sheet name two. Of course, if I didn't like that new name that has come up with the number appended to it, I could very easily right click here and rename that to whatever name I chose. Now let's take a look at, uh, we're going to right click the new one here and I'm going to skip down to tab color and you'll see that when I do that it comes up with a color palette, uh, any number of different colors that I can choose. So I'll make this one green and it's a little hard to tell, it's more like a, like a background shading on that sheet but uh, when you click off it it's, it's a little more pronounced. Uh, 
to sheet two, I'll right click and make this red. Sheet three, I'll right click and make this orange. And new sheet name, I will right click and make that green. So now I have an olive green, a red, an or light orange, and a regular green. So it can help you a little bit in trying to organize data. Okay, uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to new sheet name and I'm going to right click this again and click on hide. And it's just as you might imagine, almost immediately uh, that sheet basically disappears. Now we haven't lost that data, we've just hidden it. So I can still go back and click on any of these sheets, right click and go to unhide. And it will show me a list of all sheets that are currently hidden and then I will select that which I want to hide. Of course, right now there's only one which is hidden, so that one is selected by default. And when I click OK, it pops back into the list. So hide can be an effective way to take things off the visual docket without actually fully deleting that data. Okay, now what I'm going to do is right click any of these and I'm going to select select all sheets. So now they're all selected. When I do this, I'm going to go up to one of these cells and I'm going to type something here. Now that, that value, Show Me Academy, was entered into D1. When I go over and look at new sheet name 2, there's also that value in D1. In fact, it's on sheet 2 and sheet 3 and new sheet name. That happens because I selected all the sheets. And when you select all the sheets, if you type or commit any type of edit in one cell, it will propagate to all the cells in all the other sheets. Now what I'm going to do is show a few of the ways, uh, shortcut ways that you have to manage these things as well. For example, I showed you the rather long way here of clicking the moving co mover copy and then moving it here from one, one to place to another. But you can also just grab a sheet, click on it, and you can click it, click and drag it to other places. I can move this over to here and let go. Now that's first. And now I can take new sheet name two and click and drag that to the end. And now that's last. If I want to create new sheets, the fast and easy way to do that here is to go to the insert worksheet button right here. And that will immediately create another sheet as well. So that's another way to insert as opposed to right clicking and doing the insert here. I think it's a bit faster and more efficient to do this. So if we continue to add new sheets here, uh, start to fill up our window at the bottom. Notice as well that as these worksheets start to uh, become, become more numerous, it starts to take up all the remaining space that I have in my toolbar here at the bottom. If I want to get from one worksheet to another, like at this point, I can only see five worksheets, but there are certainly more worksheets than that in the workbook. You can navigate through these by using these arrow buttons that are here at the lower left. So, for example, I can go left, sheet 13, sheet, well, it moves, moves the whole screen over to the left so that I can see the next row of sheets, the next row of sheets, the next row of sheets, etc. This will move me all the way over to the left, and this moves me all the way over to the right. So even if you have a lot of worksheets in, in, in your Excel file, you can still navigate through them fairly efficiently by using these buttons here. And that is the tutorial for managing worksheets, uh, hiding, renaming, altering, moving, etc. Uh, that concludes the tutorial. Thank you for using showmeacademy.com.